The Africa America Institute selected Ghana because of Ghana's accomplishments, but we also looked at what is going on in the world and the choices being made by political leaders, and we could think of no better example of a real moral and courageous leader than President Akufuado. So it's with great pleasure that we bestow this award on for the people of Ghana, but we also recognize and applaud the leadership you've shown, which is so important, more important now than in many, many years. Thank you so much, sir. On behalf of the people of Ghana, I thank the Africa American Institute warmly for the honor of this award, the National Achievement Award. Ghanaians are deeply humbled by the award, and we accept the challenge that it poses on us and in what the world expects of Ghana. President Ekufadu paid tribute to many Ghanaians who made the receipt of the award possible, including former presidents and those who fought hard for cultural integrity and identity of Ghanaians. Ghana is also grateful to the great nationalists, George Alfred Park Grant, Joseph Wache Dankwa, Francis Awuno Williams, R.S. Blay, George Moore, R.S. Wood, J.W. Jagraf Johnson, Emmanuel Obeche Bilamche, Ebenezer Akwaje, William Mufureata, Edward Kufuado, Kwabna Kesi, and Jimmy Quisterson, who gathered at Salt Pond to inaugurate the United Gold Coast Convention, the first truly nationalist movement of the Gold Coast, to make the first formal demand for the independence of our nation from British rule. He noted that Ghana is a country governed by the principles of democratic accountability, respect for individual liberties and human rights, and the rule of law. For the third time, the most recent being in December 2016, we had a peaceful transfer of power from a governing class to an opposition one. We did it without any fuss, and it is now part of what we do as a people. Today, after quite some time, we are recognized as a beacon of democracy and stability on the African continent. It will not be easy. We have no illusions whatsoever about the nature of the task that we face. But I know that Ghanaians will rise to the occasion. They always do. The black star is going to shine and shine and shine. Adele Quisi, Much Tube, reporting for Metro News.